Hello, everybody. I want to show you guys how to use this cool little, um, I guess it's an app that you find in Clever. Let me show you how to get there. It's how to create a book. Well, go to your student section here on the Menchville webpage and go into Clever. And when it opens up, you guys are going to need to go to my page. Hopefully you can see R. Taylor's page. You click on that and you'll see that there's the Book Creator app. That's where you're going to go. So you, and I'll give you the um, code. It'll be in the instruction sheet on how to join. But um, this is where you're going to go to create a book. Okay, so uh, it's super easy to do. You're going to click on New Book. And you have Choices. Now, just I chose the comic version because it's kind of got neat little things that you can use in there that are not available in just the regular book, but you can choose whichever one you want. Um, I chose the larger one because y'all gonna have lots of pictures, but you know you can try to squeeze it in. I'm, I'm gonna let you do the deciding on that. So anyway, you end up with the cover first. And you're going to add some things to the cover. You've got um, all kinds of things. You can add text here where you click on that. And it wants, you know, and there's got some comic book looking things. Um, you can go to media and you can take pictures and add them or import pictures. Um, when you import, it'll just take you to where you can do a Google search for it. If you want to do the Google search ahead of time so that you have your pictures on your computer already, then um, there has to be a way to import those. I'm not really seeing it. Um, this is the first time I've ever used this. Oh, import right here. So um, you can just go to files. And then it'll pull it from your, from your computer. So there is a way to do it. Like if you want to go ahead and get your pictures ahead of time. Um, let me just show you one that I was just playing around with. This is my cover, and of course with the comic book, that's why I said I like comic book, because it already has some really neat backgrounds, and you can put the little um, stickers here. I, I pulled this picture from of the microscope um, from the internet, um, but let me just show you how you can get to some of these things. So when you do... Um, you click the little eye, and that gives you all the different comic backgrounds. There's like a bunch of different colors. You got the little lightning bolts and stuff if you like that kind of thing. But um, I'll just pick something different this time. But you know, there you go. And then go back to the plus sign, and you can put in, um, like I said, if you want to type your text or if you want to have the cool little, um, you know, comic book look. And you can do it this way. You know, and you can play around with it and make it bigger and, you know, the size and all that stuff. But um, anyway, let me go back to the one I was making. So, you know, here's your cover. And then you can go to page two. And again, you're going to be adding things like pictures and text. Um, you can add some shapes in there. You can even add dialogue bubbles if you wanted to get real clever with it and, like, Someone was speaking to you and put your information in there. So you guys, the instructions will have, you know, what you need to include in this booklet. Um, you have to have certain pictures and certain descriptions of your tissues. And um, I'm not going to limit the pages, but, of course, you're going to have to have a title page and at least four pages because you have to have one page for um, each one of the four types of tissues. But based on the pictures and stuff you're going to have, you're probably going to have multiple pages for um, your booklet. So that's how you get into it. And like I said, you just keep scrolling through to add pictures, and here's a little plus sign. I'm sorry, add pages. Here's a little plus sign to add another page as you go along. So that's how you use it, and uh, hopefully that'll help. Again, I'm not, I haven't done too much with this, but it, so far I've been playing with it for like four or five minutes, and it's, it's pretty easy. Um, so anyway, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. Thanks, guys.